Hi, Peter Charles here for Fly Fly Fishing. And today we're going to do a video that is uh, intended for people who have never ever tied a fly before. It is square one right from the very beginning and the intent of the video is that somebody who wants to start out can actually follow along with the video and tie the fly as they listen to what I'm doing here. So if you already have tied flies before, this is not going to be the video for you. So I would suggest you look at some of my other videos. I will also put a, a playlist up there with the, the, uh, all the other videos in this series. So if you're starting out and you're wondering about hooks and tools and materials, it's all up in the playlist. Oh, make sure I'm pointing in the right direction. It's all up in the playlist. So uh, I'm not going to cover everything in one video because that would make a massively long video. But this is still going to be a fairly long video nevertheless. So I apologize for its length, but we're going to step through this very, very slowly. Okay, let's get started. I'll take my hook out to begin with. So, obviously you're tying it on a hook, right? Uh, I'm gonna be using a streamer hook, and you're gonna say, what's a streamer hook? Well, it's a hook that's designed for things like minnows, crayfish, leeches, um, very large insects. You can use streamer hooks for a lot of things, and basically, you're going to swim the fly through the water. That's usually the way you're going to do it. And in this case, I'm using uh, a size two. So if you are your conventional angler, you're familiar with hook sizes. And this is a two extra heavy, three extra long. So, so it is longer than the standard sh uh, hook shank. And it's intended so you can tie a, a long fly like a minnow. Now, the other thing you want to do is make sure it's a little bit level. There we go. And you want it firmly in your vise so it won't sag and won't pull, be pulled down when we tie our thread on. Now we're going to be tying th using tying fly tying thread to tie this on. So if you you know I'm using black here. This is not the best color choice for this fly. Usually I would use orange because you'll see what I'm doing with it in a minute. But if you're going to go out and buy one spool of thread, buy black. It's the most common uh, thread that gets used. Uh, in this case in this case, this is called a, a six aught uni thread in black. Uh, six slash zero of, uh, is the thinness of the thread. Um, so this is fairly thin thread, uh, but it's not super thin that you'll find it easy to break. Now you notice I've put it in what we call a bobbin. It's, uh, it's just a holder and it allows me to feed the thread through uh, something to grip on basically and, and keeps tension on the thread you find that you you know it doesn't come off easy you have to give it a good pull to get it off and that's the purpose of it to control the application of the thread now when we apply thread to a hook we move it away from us like this you can see I've got the bobbin up here in my right hand my left hand is lower down and I apply it to the hook and I just lay it on top of the hook in that fashion and you notice I'm not really close to the eye now I come round and then I go across that tag and I keep going across the tag half a dozen times. Now I can cut that tag off and you can see the thread is locked in place uh, and I've trapped the, the tag underneath. So now we're in a position to start tying materials on. So we're gonna we're tying an egg sucking leech today and it's a very simple fly it only takes three types of material uh, our first material is this uh, marabou that we're going to use to tie the tail. And the body is going to be made out of two types of chenille. And if you've ever been in a craft shop, you'll know what chenille is like. Uh, so we've got black and we've got this hot orange. So that's it for materials. It's very easy. Now what I've done is I've taken one feather off of the marabou, but it's too much. I'm going to have to strip some off. So I'm going to grab it by the tip and all this fluffy stuff at the bottom here, the lower down on the quill, I'm going to get rid of. These are barbs, so I'm going to get rid of about half of this. Okay, there you can see I've consider considerably reduced the uh, amount of those fluffy barbs that's on, on this uh, feather. And, you know, it makes it less dense. You don't want to have too much material on a fly. It just looks bulky and ugly and it doesn't usually swim very well. Understanding proportion, how much to put on, is one of those things you develop with experience. But when you look at uh, a fly in a recipe book, a picture of it, 
you can get a sense of how much material they put on. And when you apply material and it looks like it's much more than what's in the picture, that tells you, you have to strip some off, which is what I've just done. Now, the next bit is how do you position it? How, you know, how much do I leave off? Well, one of the useful measures is the hook shank length. It's the straight bit of the hook. Uh, you, you can use that to eyeball a pattern. So I'm going to make my tail equivalent to the length of that straight bit, which is roughly about that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the end on just a couple of loose wraps, and now it's just sitting there. And then I can just pull until I've got a tail about the length I want. There we go. As you can see, now I've got a tail that is the length of the straight part of the hook shank, starting from this point right here. So, and all I did was a couple of wraps, and I just pulled it until I got the right length. Makes it very, very simple. And you can do this with lots of material when you're trying to size tails uh, and other pieces of material. Now, I'm just going to hold this up at an angle and just wind it all back, all the way back to where the bend of the hook starts, which is right about there. Perfect. Now I get just cut this waist bit off. Now we're ready to tie in the chenille. I'm going to start with black. And when you're using chenille, if I was just to tie it on like that, I'm going to create a lump. So what I do is I come in, I grab the end, I just use my thumbnail like this, and I just strip. And you can see now I've got bare core. And that's what I'm going to tie in. It's just that bare core. Secure it well, and now bring your thread forward. Now, there's another question. Positioning your thread for the rest of the fly, that becomes part of the experience of learning how to tie flies. I mean, if I left my thread at the back here, and I begin winding on the chenille, you would instantly see that I would be running into trouble. So I have to move my thread out of the way so I can tie on this chenille. So I get the marabou out of the way, and I start wrapping. And you can see I'm wrapping in the same direction that I had with the thread. I'm always wrapping away from myself. And I'm keeping these wraps close together so this chenille puffs up and the body looks nice and thick. And I just keep going. Now, I have to leave room here for the orange because we're going to put an orange bit at the front. So I'm just going to keep going a little bit further. There we go. Now I'm going to tie off the black. And you can see I come round with the thread, so I'm trapping it. I'm trapping that chenille against the shank of the hook. Now I cut off the extra. Now with this orange, I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Get my thumbnail in there and pull and expose the core. I'm just going to puff this up by putting lots of wraps in here. There we go. Now I'll tie this off. You see, I bring my thread behind it and then in front of it. I lock it off in place. And then I cut off that tag bit. Put a few more wraps in there. Now you can see why I was talking about having orange thread instead of black thread. We're going to have this black spot here. I mean, reality is it doesn't matter. But if you wanted to make this really look neat, I'd use orange thread, and I won't have that black spot in front. They used to say, though, as I said earlier, black is a very, very common thread to use. 
uh, very uh, very common color so you'll tie a lot of flies with black you won't tie very many flies with orange so it's better to go out and buy a spool of black than anything else now I'm going to show you how to use a half hitch tool uh, you have to put a knot in here we have to finish this off so it doesn't unravel and what we do if you've ever do it, done a half hitch knot before all we're doing is putting our half hitch tool and you can see all that is is a bar of metal with holes at either end of different sizes. That's a smaller hole. This has got the bigger hole. And it is designed to go over the eye of the hook. So all I do is I put my half hitch tool on the thread and then just bring the thread over. And that basically, and then I just slide that thread off and it slides down and makes a knot. Do it two or three times. Pull it nice and tight. Cut your thread off. Now the last bit we have to do is something called head cement. And it's good to have a little toothpick to do this. And what we're do, going to do is put some head cement on that black thread. And in doing so, we're going to keep it from um, coming undone. Even though we've got knots in it to keep it in place, it will still pull out eventually. So I'm going to just put a little bit of head cement in there. There we go. And what that will do is it will keep the uh, head from coming apart when we fish it. After you've had a couple of fish hit that, even with those knots, it would come apart. So there's an egg sucking leech. It's an effective fly. Uh, a lot of fish have been caught on this simple pattern. Uh, just a black body, black tail, and an orange head. And, you know, you can fish it dead drifted. You can swing, uh, fish it on a swung fly method. Uh, you can strip it. You can do lots of ways to fish it. You know, catch bass, steelhead, trout, salmon. variety of species will hit an egg sucking leech. So, all you needed was three materials, which was two colors of chenille, black and orange, and you needed some marabou for the tail, black marabou for the tail. And we used a, a six aught, which is a six slash zero black thread to tie it all on. So there you go. Very quickly, you've got your first fly and it will work. You will catch fish on it. So, you know, as I say, you can go back through this video and go through step by step, pausing it at each spot so you get a chance to uh, tie the material on and then move on to the next one. It's an easy pattern and it's an effective pattern. So get out there and fish it. And I'll tell you one thing right now. The first time you catch a fish on a fly you tied, that's a special day. Cheers.